One, two, three, four. One of the best things you can do every year is take this meter to somebody and let them look at it. So the same thing that makes a no-till soil colder in the spring, which is the mulch, makes a no-till soil warmer in the fall, which is the mulch. Hold the trigger and when you let go, it's gonna give you that average. Oh, okay. Very good school, uh, very practical, excellent production information for farmers. The Kentucky Agriculture Training School, or CATS, began in 2016 as the Wheat Field School. University of Kentucky Extension Research Specialists continue offering workshops to consultants, advisors, producers, county extension agents, and others seeking advanced crop management training. And so what it boils down to, the continuous no-till had a lot more of those little small pores that held the water. And so on a dry year at a certain time, it produced just a little bit more water. As a county extension agent too, it's being able to provide that upfront in the field education and advice to our producers. A lot of the drills and stuff you see on the market today, they will, uh, their row unit travel is in the cantilever motion. Uh, whereas if you hit a rock or something like that, it'll kick back in a half moon shape. So this is obviously a one tool you can use for collecting samples in uh, stored grain. CATS training provides information in the areas of plant pathology, soil science, forages, plant breeding, grain science, weed science, agricultural engineering, ag economics, and entomology. The last cast that I went to this week, the entomologist there was talking about aphids and their control and it was a great refresher. So I was able to take that information, refresh it on their mind with a little bit of updated things that he had seen from the trials last year and use it firsthand in our trials and on growers' farms that I work with. I thought I knew everything because I've been around so long, but I, I learned some little things that are gonna be really beneficial. And we're facing new diseases today. Uh, they may be new old diseases, but I haven't faced them in my career. And now all of a sudden we have these diseases we're uh, combating now, Southern rust in the last few years. The workshops range in topics from pre-plant to post-harvest decisions, in-season management considerations, and related topics such as equipment selection and calibration. So we all know how we used to do it, and uh, the CATS training gives you opportunity to look into the future, see how we probably will be doing it in the next couple of years and showing us innovations that we could all incorporate on our farms. Generally, three to five day-long schools are held each year during times in the growing season when producers are making key management decisions. In today's age, we need to produce as many bushels on a limited amount of acres that we can, you know, and with the price of seed and the price of equipment and everything else, you, you need to utilize as much efficiency as possible. Our goal is to keep a flexible schedule to encourage more in-depth discussions or demonstrations. The limited enrollment of CATS is by design. A small group size means UK specialists can give more personal attention to attendees. What happens if I can actually change my screens? Trainings are conducted in the field when possible with opportunities to come indoors for presentations, discussion, and lunch. One of the fa my favorite parts of the field schools was the um, hands-on demonstrations, especially about disease identification as well, too. That's a skill that's directly applicable to the field. Using new technology and the latest research, participants are able to receive CCA continuing education units and pesticide applicator credits at each event. I saw an advertisement for the UK Wheat School in one of the UK newsletters and uh, it piqued my interest at first because it was offering certified crop advisor uh, continuing education credits. The University of Kentucky puts on by far and away more training and CCA credit hours than anyone. This is probably the most common virus disease that we have in this area. If you were to get infections right now, it's actually not really as, um, as important as infections that occur in the fall. A crider like soil anyway, you can have a nice red profile all the way across. That means that it's oxidized, it has plenty of air exchange. The sessions generally run from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. with lunch provided at the UK Princeton Research and Education Center. 
If you'd like more information on the Kentucky Agriculture Training School, visit www.cats.ca.uky.edu.